a new place to camp at North Brother, which is up near North Haven. And this property is called Duvel Farm Stay, $30 a night. And it's run by Brian and his son Jake also has a um, boat hire. So you can get a barbecue boat or a tinny. And yeah, this is lovely. So we just got to go through a gate down here and then the owner, Brian, is going to meet us and work out where we can go. There's river frontage um, or we could go and um, have a private spot somewhere. These beauties. Hello. They're not too worried. So this is where we are, a nice private spot and just through those trees is the Camden River, lovely and peaceful, it's going to be awesome, it's pretty nice, it's um, happy hour now, Steve's gone looking for some firewood, Brian the owner said go for it find and take what you like which is pretty cool and I'm just having a lovely little gin in a can lovely 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 and forecast this weekend is supposedly going to be uh, in the 30s look at my guy collecting firewood again We're we have um, our usual supply on the front of the caravan but uh, yeah, we like a good fire, so I'd imagine that will go. Okay, so it's dinner time here at North Brother. <laughs> and I pre-made some um, pizzas and rolled them. I'll just slot a photo in right now, what they looked like before I rolled it. Anyway, um, they're pretty big, so we're just going to cook one first and cut it in half and see how we go. But pretty much it's a pizza rolled and it should cook and melt and get crispy because it's Lebanese bread. And, and what do we call it? We call it a rolled pizza. pizza. Wow, we keep it simple. <laughs> and it's on Stevie's new smoker. So, yeah, awesome. New day that will come again tomorrow. Wash away the pain There's a new day Put all your stuff away And check out for the day There's no time to waste When it's 100 degrees Burns under my feet Won't you have a drink with me? coming to the fisherman's co-op so we can pick up some prawns planning on going to the beach today feels like summer but it's only spring but it's beautiful birds are chirping my man's happy steve's a singing <laughs> la, la, la. 
change of plans. We have to wait till midday to be able to buy a beach permit um, to drive on the beach. So this is a lovely little spot, um, just where we are fishing. It's um, nice and sheltered, perfect for little kitties and big girls, <laughs> like me. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. where you come to get your beach permit so you can drive on the beach and it is Saturday and the fellow uh, that sells it to you uh, doesn't come in till midday so remember that if you get here on a weekday try and get here early um, anyway we've had a bit of fun down on the break wall but we're going to pick up a permit so we can go on the beach We're just at Diamond Head Beach, Crowdy Bay National Park. Our permit cost us $41, which included a $5 handling fee from the fellow in the op shop. Um, and unfortunately, we're right in the middle of where permits to the north are run by a different council to the ones on in the south and the Taree council one in the south are so expensive, another $30 on top. So um, anyway, we decided to go north of Diamond Head. Is that right? Yeah, Port Macquarie Council, Hastings Council. Okay, so it'll include the beaches up this way. Anyway, we're going to get past um, the campers that walk down to the beach and get our own little private Idaho and have some lunch. brother so we're actually camping down below that on a property boom 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 it's a bit breezy so we've just picked oof, <laughs> um, a little spot here that's sheltered looks pretty good to me whales unbelievable but that was so far out I got just a little capture of a tail but um, 
and it was too windy to send the drone out and we weren't confident we'd be able to bring it back but anyway how cool was that stevie it's fantastic yeah big big whales yeah they were going berserk actually yeah breaching ready to go and dinner is prepped ready for the grill i'll just show you what we've got for dinner so for dinner i've marinated some chicken thigh in this sweet chili and lime marinade that i bought from coles for a dollar so i was going to make up my own and i thought for a dollar i'll just buy that so yeah i've got four chicken thigh fillets in there i'm cooking extra because i want to make wraps for tomorrow's picnic lunch we're hiring a boat so i want to make um lunch to take i've also chopped up eggplant pumpkin capsicum and zucchini and i've popped in this bag some olive oil that's infused with garlic and chili and i've added some uh, rosemary and pepper and just switched it around so we're going to pop these on steve's um charcoal grill and i'm tossing up whether we actually need this rice so i've got ben's um wild rice but the veggies and the chicken might be enough anyway we better get that on the grill okay so our veggies are going onto the grill steve lost a little piece of eggplant oops <laughs> the wind is crazy tonight so i apologize if this is um blowing on my mobile phone anyway doesn't that look it's delicious like a vegan fest. it does but we do have chicken yeah okay so our veggies haven't taken long to cook i've only sliced the pumpkin but it's already quite flexible which is good steve's put the chicken on now it's in this lovely marinade it's been in there for a day or more so it should be well and truly tender won't take long to cook no just watch those veggies on that raw chicken though um yeah so there's four pieces there but yeah i want to keep some to make wraps for lunch may as well if you're doing a cook up do a little bit of extra it saves uh, having to prepare another day Oh, it's looking and smelling amazing. Anyway, I don't know if this will pick it up, but we have, oh, it will, the full moon. It is incredible. We don't need torches actually to find our way around, but we do need torches to cook. <laughs> so dinner is now being dished up and it looks pretty amazing. I'm not gonna do the rice because there's plenty of food here for two plus leftovers <laughs> look at that yummo yeah i really like this little charcoal cooker it's a beauty so we're out on the boat and steve's only just put his line in and he's got a fish a oh a good size it's a fish that's the main thing how'd that feel Awesome. Well, my, my go, my line. Um, it was very windy last night, so surprised that we got uh, such a nice day today. We thought the wind was going to be blowing today as well. So we've each caught a little brim and the brims are just playing with our bait. We're using chicken breast, which was recommended. But yeah, we're just feeding all the little brims. Come on, where's your mum and dad? <laughs>
from the op shop, you can actually just go to an app um, and download it on your phone and you'll probably save that $5 management fee. <laughs> anyway, that's another option if you want to drive on the beach. Lauriton Hotel, Sunday, long weekend, just having a quick coldie before we move on to something else. <laughs> something even colder. Yeah, yeah, who knows. Decided to look for some koalas. This area is knowing, known oh, to have um, a big population of koalas. Anyway, better concentrate. I don't know where we're going, but anyway, it's all a bit fun. Didn't really lead anywhere, but. Um, yeah, just saw some nice properties that back onto the water. It's a pretty nice spot up here. Now we're just venturing down this track leads to the beach. So if you love four wheel driving, there's lots to do up here. preparing some dinner we're actually going to have garlic prawns tonight but I'm going to make a bread to go with it and it's my faithful beer bread that I'm going to do two cups of self-raising flour I've got probably a tablespoon of sugar and I'm also going to make this a potato bread so I've got half a cup of Deb mash so i'm going to add that i've never done this before but i think this should work out okay so that's just instant mashed potato so i've got those three ingredients so far in and then i'm just going to add i'll make a little i'll just mix that a little bit and then i'm going to add a can of beer so the whole can like that and then I'm going to mix that together with my flat knife. So now that that's all mixed in, the flour is all mixed in and um, moist, I've got a lined bread tin here and I'm just going to pour that in. I should turn it this way. Whoop. Pretty easy, it's not too messy, I've only got this bowl. I haven't had to get my hands dirty, which is good. Well, the nice flat knife uh, is a good way to mix it. And then I'm just going to push that down into the edges. So I've done this many times um, and put lots of different ingredients. You can do bacon or salami, dice stuff in it. Um, you can put some parmesan cheese, olives sun-dried tomatoes, rosemary thyme, um, make it any any um, way you like. Just pop that in there. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top. And we're going to actually bake this in our barbecue. I'm just going to sprinkle this Parmesan over the top. Oh, that was quite a bit. So I'll just spread that out. Yeah, so may take 20 to 30 minutes maybe 40 minutes i'll just see how it goes this is also fantastic to put in your camp oven which um, some of you may have seen in previous videos anyway that bread's going to be delicious to have with our garlic prawns Steve is just peeling our green prawns and um, i'm going to get out a few ingredients to get these ready to cook but we um we need to get our fire going because we're going to cook the garlic prawns and use some coals from it. Anyway, so that's a little while off, but we're just getting it all prepped. Tonight, for grand final footy night while we're camping, 
we're going to treat ourselves to some oysters and I thought I had Worcestershire but I don't this is a lime and ginger olive oil that we bought in Rutherglen and anyway I've popped that olive oil on there um, and put some bacon so we're going to cook them in the barbecue once our beer bread's finished these are my lovely little pots I picked up from a op shop um, Steve's really keen to do some garlic prawns so I'm going to melt we're going to heat those and then I'll put some butter in it and then I have got some uh, green prawns I've also got chorizo and I've mixed in paprika sweet paprika um, what else do I chili flakes I put in, I'm trying to remember now, um, hmm, oh, some white wine, um, as well as a bit of pepper and garlic and ginger. So I've mixed that all through. So we'll melt the butter and then we'll uh, divide this up into the two little pots for our garlic prawns. Yummo. And we can enjoy that with our lovely beer bread. Happy grand final. So we've got our um, beer bread cooking potato beer bread and Steve's put up my windbreak that I created to take to WA because last night it was so windy and we went inside to eat dinner and my chair blew over into the fire so that's not going to happen tonight look at this pretty cool and now we're protected but we quite warm yeah we're toasty hot um anyway Yes, maybe we should have been a bit further back, but yeah, it does the trick. It certainly stops that wind blowing through you. <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, anyway, yeah, look at this. I'm pretty proud of this. And I've put pockets in, so if you're at the beach and you set it up, um, you could pop sand in it, like in there. So, yeah, one of a kind. <laughs> so, this is our setup for grand final night. <laughs> We've got the laptop, we've got fairy lights, and we've got a feast we've still got to cook. Um, yeah, so. If they come off, if the passes stick, almost going to start. Yeah. potato bread is looking beautiful it's time now because it's half time in the footy to cook our garlic prawns and chorizo can't wait to um try that we're just going to get some coals and pop them out by the fire yummo Chewing up the meters once more. Mm -hmm. They're going to be pretty nice. Okay, it's time for our um, garlic prawns. Wow. And chorizo. Mmm, it smells amazing. Oh my goodness, the Broncos are just cleaning up. And so will we on our delicious. Yes. Oh, so good. It does, yeah, my I will enjoy my darling. And that's the result of 2023. Won by the Panthers. What a game. It was pretty awesome. This is the second time we've been camping and watched the grand final and Penrith won. Well, what an absolutely stunning location the North Haven area is. Thank you, Brian, for your hospitality. We definitely plan to come back and hope to bring our boat with us next time. If you enjoy our content on YouTube, please consider subscribing as we have so many more um, adventures and locations to explore and bring to you on YouTube. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't you